Hey everybody, it's Julianne. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my mom's home in Las Vegas, Nevada. Just a quick side note guys before I get into the video. I'm super excited that we bought a house here in Las Vegas. We're currently moving into so eventually the background of my videos will change. Kind of sad because I really like the ambiance of this patio but I'm so excited to be filming in our new home. So stay tuned for a different background in the near future. So I want to give a quick shout out and thank you to Star Nursery. You guys already know if you are familiar with my channel. I pretty much get most of my collection all things plant related from star nursery so i want to say thank you so much for sponsoring this weekend's haul i had the opportunity to visit all four locations in las vegas which i've never done in a weekend span i've been to all four of them individually but never in a whole weekend and i'm going to do a collective haul of all of the plant babies that i picked up throughout the whole weekend so it's a collective haul if you guys are interested stay tuned to the end of the video because i'm going to be doing a giveaway i will have all of the information in the description box down below and um, that's about it so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and talk about all of them in front of me which I'm super excited to have uh, it's a lot guys so just be patient with me I'm gonna give a spotlight to each and every one of them right. so I went to all locations yesterday Kira and I went to the Eastern location and the Blue Diamond location I visit the Blue Diamond location a lot I have filmed in the Blue Diamond location previously in my channel and then today I went to the Charleston location which I haven't filmed for my channel at that location yet but I've been there before and as well as the Tropicana location which is right up the street from my mom's house so I did a lot of driving and a lot of plant shopping but it was very therapeutic okay, for so let's go ahead and talk about the ones that I got multiples of because I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and group them into one planter and make them a family because I thought that'd be super cute these two here is called the Espatoa and they're the same variety. I'm gonna go ahead and style them in one planter together. And this is probably going to live in my new room here in Las Vegas because it's a low maintenance plant. I am hardly here, which is a great plant to have in the room. Uh, I think that these are super cute. I don't have this variation in my collection, uh, but I thought it'd be fun to buy two of them which is a total of three and group them together in one planter. I've never done that before as far as for buying multiple of the same cactus species and grouping them because I normally just have one uh, cactus in a single planter. So I'm gonna go for a different look in my room here in Las Vegas. Speaking of multiples and also I have this variation in Santa Monica in a recent haul that I actually filmed so this is the Peruvian old lady and what I'm gonna do here as well is group them into four and put it in a bigger planter and they'll be a family of four. These are super low easy maintenance type of plants and they're very similar to each other, the Espatoa and the Peruvian as you can see. But I think the difference with these two variations is that this is tall and slender and these are like more on the short stubby side. So I have a variation of four of them here. The Proven Old Lady is super easy. I have this actually styled in my living room in Santa Monica in a planter, but I'm gonna do I'm gonna just do a little experimenting guys and just group them to make it into a bigger piece, which I think would be really fun to do. Let's just hope that I don't poke myself when I transplant them. Uh, moving along to the same theme of type of cactus fuzzy and pokey. Here's another one which I don't have in my collection. This is the Old Man of Andes. Guys, I just noticed that this is the Peruvian Old Lady and this is the Old Man of Andes. They could just be married and be a cute cactus family. What do you think? They could just maybe live side by side in a different planner. Um, this one is interesting shape-wise in comparison to this guy here. It's more chubby. It has longer pokies on here. So I think that these are the two biggest cactuses that I got in today's plant haul. But I love just having variation of cactuses and if you are a plant enthusiast like me, you just want them all. Keeping in the same theme of cactuses, I have these guys here. So this is, um, let me get this, a Mammillaria species. I have one like this in Santa Monica guys. And if you look really good, you see like pink little dots coming through throughout and those are gonna be blooms so this is going to give off cute little pink blooms very soon I'm thinking so I can't wait to have that in my patio and then this one is slightly similar and this is the golden pin cushion and it just has a little cute top here I can actually have them side by side in cute planters and it has like the same theme 
with white fuzzies really close to the cactus body with yellow pokies. Um, I just love having different variation of cactuses. I thought these were super cute. And you never can go wrong with having a variety of sizes as far as for cactuses. Okay, so keeping on the theme of cactuses, I guess, is that how we're doing the video? I'm not too sure, but it seems that way. We're gonna talk about the last cactus that I got. This is the silken pincushion. So this is the same species as this guy right here. This is the golden pincushion, and then this is the silken pincushion. So maybe I might have them and you know, side by side and I plant it together and just have a pink cushion variation of cactuses. This one is super cute as you can see. There's more yellow, it's like an ombre effect here where it's like white with red tips here and then it just ombres down to a yellow. I don't have these two, I don't think in my collection, so I just couldn't pass them up. I just love cactuses and succulents in general and I will go ahead and just buy one of each and just have a bunch of them staring at me and um, I think they're super cute. Now let's go ahead and talk about all of the succulents that I got because I have one, two, three, four, five of them. And I picked these up actually today, four of them at the Charleston location and then one of them in the Tropicana location. So guys, I love all varieties of everything, cactus, succulents, houseplants. So these ones I'm super excited to have in my collection. Here's the one that I got at the Tropicana location. If you can see up close here, it's fuzzy and I just love that about it. And I just love all the different dimension on here. I have a similar variation like this with smaller petals. Um, but if you guys want to maybe comment down below and let me know what variation of a succulent this is, that'd be awesome. I don't have this one in my collection, so super excited to have this in my home in Santa Monica. And maybe this one or one of them can go in the unicorn planter that I did share in my last plant haul. So I got this, and then let's talk about this guy here. And I believe this is an Echeveria of some sort here. Um, this one has red tips on them, and these guys get really big in size, but I just love having a variety of small, medium, large succulents, and I can't wait to style them in planters. If I can get all white planters, that'd be awesome. So I got this here. And then keeping in the same theme of an Echeveria, I got this one here. So this is in a four inch pot, all of them. And I just love having just different varieties of them. As you can see, this one is a light green version. And then this one is like a little bit like a sea green. I just love having different varieties of greens in my collection. So when I seen these two, I had to pick it up because I can never say no to a beautiful succulent. I got two more fuzzy ones here that I picked up. Here's another one here. If you look up close here, there's little fuzzies on this thing. And it kind of has like an, like a Santa Monica, California ocean vibe going on. Like something that I see a lot in people's yards. I love having different, you know, heights and variations of succulents. So I love this. You know, this is even perfect for a fairy garden. Who knows? I might use it in another upcoming fairy garden project. And then here's the last one here, which I think is my favorite out of all five of them. I don't want to say that in front of them, but I just love the fact that there's like a variegated feel to it. And if you look really good on the top here, there's like pink tips and it's just super cute and fuzzy. Here's a top point of view. And as you can see with this guy here, um, size wise, this is really like big and chunky and then this one is a little slightly smaller and petite but nonetheless they're both fuzzy and both cute and I can't wait to style them in planters so that is the five succulents that I got moving along to the last piece and it's not a cactus or succulent actually guys I have two I have two house plants here let's talk about the smaller one now this is for me and this is a variegated bird's nest snake plant I don't have a variegated version. You guys uh, seen in my uh, collection videos before, I do have a bird's nest snake plant and it's in all green and I love that one and I finally found a variegated one. I'm super excited to add this to my collection. Maybe they'll live side by side in separate okay, planters. So this is the last plant that I got in this weekend's collective haul. This is a burgundy rubber plant. It is different looks wise from the one that I have in my collection. Mine's at home is like one long stem branching out and it's super tall. This one has like multiple in here and then it's on the short side. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up because as you can see, it is very dirty and prune it. And I'm gonna go ahead and gift this to my mom and style it in their new home, which I'm super excited to do because I couldn't pass up thinking like, 
the house has no plants and I feel like obligated to put a plant in the living room so I believe this is probably gonna go in the living room or kitchen but I wanted to get something low maintenance for the house because my mom and them do work at both of our restaurants seven days a week so this is a very stress-free low maintenance plant which I share a lot on my channel hey guys so my favorite part of the video has arrived my giveaway and all of the details on how to enter this it will close in two weeks and I will go ahead and post the video of that on my channel and in order to qualify for this giveaway, you have to be in the US, so I don't have any problems shipping these plants out to you. But don't worry for my international subbies, I will be doing another giveaway in the near future where you can go ahead and qualify for that giveaway. So simple rules, you're gonna have to be subscribed to this main channel and my second channel, my vlog channel, Miss Julin. So I love Julin and Miss Julin. Give this video a thumbs up. And let me know down in the comments below what city you live in and your favorite plant on your wish list. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this collective plant haul with Star Nursery. Again, thank you Star Nursery for sponsoring this weekend's haul. I will go ahead and put all of their information in the description below. If you guys are ever in Las Vegas, definitely hit them up. You guys already know. Um, but that's about it guys. You can find more on my blog at ljulian.blogspot.com. I had so much fun. Uh, going to all of the locations over the weekend and I can't wait to style them so stay tuned for a planting with Julian episode where you'll see all of these babies styled in my home here in Las Vegas as well as my place in Santa Monica and that's about it until next time you can find more on my blog at ellajulian.blogspot.com aloha from the ninth island bye <laughs>